we've taken it upon ourselves to not replace the wiring harness instead to look for all the little faults we can find wires that have been braced through and some that have been broken off checking all the plugs checking all of the connectors inside taking a specific wire number each wire luckily on John Deere each wire is traced by a number getting the other end seeing if we've got continuity and then as soon as we through with this all the bad patches are now being sorted and then closed up with the heat shrink as soon as we've fixed all the visible problems we'll plug the whole thing in and then fault find from one end see where we get what problems we get and sort them out one by one by means of illumination We've got the laptop here helping us with the diagram a bit that's the fuse box Zander is going through hello Zander hi hi Zander is going through all the wires fixing the whole lot soldering it up looking for bad patches re-isolating them Most of the harness is being sorted out, it has been sorted out and soldered up. So today I'll be labeling all the labeling all the plugs. It just helps me with routing. So when you pack it in, you can pack it in tightly and tidily. Okay, I'm busy with laying out the, the harness and routing it and giving it all its rest, resting places and, and mounting brackets so it's nice and sturdy. But before we did that, I used the service advisor to label each and every loose wire because we had a lot that didn't have plugs on there. So I have to re, re sold the new plugs onto there. So basically we took every single loose wire we could find labeled thing so we labeled everything out yeah everything's been labeled out so you have so to you label it out lay it in root everything properly and then add the final little bit of wire with the plug there's no sense in doing everything beforehand because it will just be either too short or too long it won't reach it won't sit right as he's starting up the tractor or oh, we've just started up to test some of the electronics and we are now busy with the PTO the solenoid for the PTO it's this one yeah I think we've got some overspray on the pins we'll yes, check it out just now solenoid for the diff lock we'll get around to that we'll sort okay, it out so one by one on the right hand side with the alternator we've got the side, the side wire main positive from there Work that in, goes around, it comes straight to the starter, main positive. Got one going right back out. This is the main positive to supply to the rest of the tractor. The dash, all the other positives we need from that side. Got the main battery positive going straight to the battery. Good practice. Always remember, if you can, if you, if you can, take your ring off. If it doesn't want to come off anymore, just, uh, Stick a bit of tape around there. Don't want to end up with a bionic ring. One shot will burn right into your flesh. So every joint that we make or that I make gets soldered together and then heat shrunk to seal it up and make it watertight. And I've done that for every single possible joint on all the repairs we made on the harness. That's it. All joints are soldered and heat truck.
also colour coded, tie into the rest of the harness back on the tractor. In sleeving, taped off the ends, this is a split sleeving, so you want to tape it off there, so the wires can't go into the, into the split, so, as well as on the junctions, you want to tape it on both ends, get it up nice and tight. You want to minimise the movement on the wires here, otherwise the split part in the sleeving, see that? kind of shock. The less movement you have there, the less damage it will cause to your wiring. Also got the hood and the air cleaner sensor setup that goes into the air cleaner sensor sensor and this one goes to the horn. I've tied them all in a bunch right back to here. We'll determine the right length, cut them off and uh, join up the rest of the tractor harness. This is the main negative. This one goes straight to the engine on that bracket right there. The engine on the other side again in turn is straight from the block down to here onto the cab. So this is the main earth on the cab as well. Alright. Do this big 